Hey guys, my name is Bailey Sarian and today is a great day. I'm gonna show you guys how I do just like my, my like easy natural face when I just wanna look luminous and like pretty and that's really all I got. It's very easy, I know you can do it. And it's all using a lot of my favorite stuff that I like to use all the time, every day. Don't forget to subscribe so we can hang out, be best friends and stuff. Yeah, I'll shut up and let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so I have my hair out of my way and now I'm going to do my foundation. So I did use self tan. I don't know if you can really tell because I only do it from like the belly button up, okay? Yes, I tan in winter, not my legs or anything, just like my upper body. And you can tan if you have tattoos. It doesn't do anything to your tattoos. It just makes your skin like more tan, that's all. A lot of people ask me if you can tan with tattoos. I'm like, yes girl, you sure can. I personally like being tan, I just feel healthier. So I do it, I can't help it. For foundation, I'm using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have the shade Punjab. And of course, I'm gonna apply it with my Claire Sonic tool. I love this thing. So good. I feel like I waste a lot less foundation. It applies evenly. I just love this thing. So now that I did my all over foundation, I go back with like my sponge and I just really press it into the skin, making sure that it's like in there. I know I've been doing like a lot of crazier looks lately. So I thought, you know, I can do natural and soft too. It's fun to play around. But lately, like this has been my going out face for sure. So now I use my Hourglass Vanish Stick in Nude. I bought this like last year. I used it for a while and then I put it in the drawer and I haven't seen it since. So I decided to go through my drawer and just start using all the stuff that I have already. I feel like we kind of get stuck. There's always something new. Every damn day there is something new and I need to use what I have. 2018 goals. So I'm using this as my concealer and the reason is because it's a little bit drier consistency so it stays really well on the face. Like it doesn't, it's not too creamy. It'll stick, it'll stay. So I'm putting it around my nose because hormonally we get red around the nose, on the mouth and chin. And then I'm going to put it on my hyperpigmentation right here. Just kind of dab it. Mm. I don't want to use this underneath my eyes because it is thicker consistency and more dry it can make my under eye look really dry and cakey So I want to use a thinner concealer under my eyes. This is my like little concealer Pouch I have I really like this concealer and like if you don't have the same items as me You don't need it to do this look. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to inspire you to kind of like play with what you got But this is the YSL all hours concealer in 40 PB. It's so creamy. It's so radiant I love this one. I really do like right in here. The reason I I say that is because I know like a lot of the stuff I'm using right now is kind of pricier and I just don't want you to feel like you can't accomplish this look without these products because you definitely can. Does that make sense? Anyways, I'm using my sponge. This is the e.l.f. sponge. It's not really my favorite to be completely honest, but it's cheap. It's too dense, so it kind of takes off a lot of the product that I apply. Now I'm using my NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder, and this one is an Eden, I believe, yeah, Eden. And I'm using this to set my under eyes so it doesn't crease on me. I don't have like a mirror in front of me, so it's like I need this, but it's kind of in the way. I'm setting my under eyes around my nose, anywhere that I get shiny, which is everywhere. There's a lot of powder, my bad. You don't necessarily have to highlight with a liquid. You could highlight with powder as well, which is what I'm doing right now because the concealer that I used wasn't necessarily lighter than my face. So you'd put it in the areas where you do highlight, but it's like not as intense. I don't go for like a really, really heavy highlighted look. I just want to look luminous and dewy, but not like too much. Y'all see. Kelly Baker Brow Eyebrow Powder in Dark Brown with an angled brow brush. I am now using this to apply, you guessed right, my eyebrows. Just kind of flicking this in here. I tried to like tweeze and do my brows myself the other day while I was on the couch watching TV. And like, I think I did okay. They're not awful, but they're not great. There's a gnat. There's a goddamn gnat. This brow I got a little crazy on. So, <laughs> taking a concealer brush with a little bit of my foundation, and just going to clean it up right here. I hate doing my eyebrows. Some days it's like, oh my God, best eyebrow day ever. And then the next day it's just like, what happened? Was I filming any of that? 2018, why? I took a little bit of my MAC Sculpt Powder, my Delium Tools 954 brush, placed it into the hollow of my cheek, like a shot. Jawline, look at me go. Sides of my nose. Mm. 
mm, along my forehead. And then I took my sponge and I just really pushed it into the skin to soften it. This wig is hot. I'm gonna take a bigger, like fluffier brush and just dust off the loose powder. Mm -hmm. I gotta get like a mirror right there or something. Something needs to happen. Cause I'm just guessing right now. Forehead? Yeah, forehead. Mm, 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 mm. I come lightly over the brows just to set so they don't move, don't wipe off, don't disappear. Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I like to set my face to really help like melt the foundation and the powders together as one so it looks more like my skin. This one gives a really pretty luminosity to the skin. In all honesty, what you can do at home is take any setting spray you have, mix a little bit of a loose highlight or a loose pigment in there and you can give any setting spray you have like a luminosity to it just saying you want to let that dry completely before you move on to anything else oh yes this feels so good so hot i take a little bit of my uh what is this what is this that i'm using oh look at that light uh <laughs> god bailey foundation i take my foundation and i put it on my lid it's my eyeshadow primer because why do an extra step of eyeshadow primer when you could just use your foundation even out that lid then i'm going to use my um, what is this called? Jeez, this is the um, contour powder with a brush, okay? Just like a blending brush, your finger, whatever you want, you know? Okay, and then I'm just gonna come back and forth in my crease. Give a little bit of depth to my eye. I need my, I need my, my mirror. Right there, mm-hmm, cute. And come out a little bit, boom. And then I also carry this color right along my lower lash line. So for this look, I like to look a little bit more just like bronzier. So I'm taking my NARS bronzer in Casino right along here. This used to be my favorite bronzer back in the day. Like we go way back. I'll also take my little brush again and just add some right into the crease. Cause you know, layer, layer two tones in here. Why not tie it all together? Now for some glowation, my favorite, the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. I like to just use these colors right here. This middle one and this one right here. I need my brush, I need it. I'm gonna start with this white shade first. Okay, just kind of pat it on here, go for it. Layer the pink on top. Above my lip, my chin. I feel like when I do a really natural look, if I glow more, it looks better. That's just me. That's just me. And then I like to take my brush with like this pink shade. Maybe mix them, mix them on my lid. This is the House of Lashes Eyelash Curler. I don't always curl my lashes, but when I do just mascara, I feel like it does make a difference as far as making my eyelashes just stand up and my eyes look bigger, my lashes look longer. I'm like trying to blink. <laughs> like I don't curl my lashes ever, so I don't know if this is a good eyelash curler. I think so because I have nothing to compare it to. Okay, so after I curl my eyelashes, I then have been using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This has been like my favorite mascara. It just makes my my lashes really long, separated, stays really well. It's inexpensive, I like that. So I'm just gonna do mascara, I'm not gonna do eyelashes today. Coat these lashes up. I find when I'm looking down at a mirror and I do my mascara, it doesn't transfer onto my lid. Cause like yesterday I tried to do it like this and it was just all over my lid. I was pissed. Cause I worked so hard on my eyeshadow today, I don't wanna ruin it. Lash princess. Is that a gnat? There's another gnat. And then last but not least, I have my lip liner from Urban Decay. It's called Stark Naked. And I just got a lot on my lips. I line my lips and then I just color them in or smudge them in. And then you know, this is the finished look. I hope you love it as much as I do. It's really easy. I know you can do it at home. I know you can, but it's definitely been like my go-to as of lately. No, it's not. It's like, you know, it's my go-to when I want to look pretty and not crazy. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make good choices. Anyways, let me know what you want to see next and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. My outros are always still awkward. Okay, bye guys.